Welcome to the Felt DC video series. This is part one in a series of four about using Movie Maker. Part one, still images, titles and sounds. We're going to show you how to use the latest version of Movie Maker, which is only available for Windows 7 and updated Vista. To download it, you need to go to Microsoft Live. The website is explore.live.com. Then select Essentials Movie Maker. You can choose the language version you want. Go down here, click on this, and then you just choose the language that you need. Then download it and get it installed. A couple of things about the new Live Movie Maker. It has a new interface and a new approach to video editing. It works a lot better with new video formats such as digital cameras, still cameras and smartphones. You'll notice in the new Movie Maker that the timeline has gone. You now collect everything in this new collection window – audio, videos and titles. The monitor with its controls have moved to the left side. So let's get some images in. We go to Home, Add Images. Here's some images from a course. Let's add the first 10. Here they are in my collection window. Now we can play them on the monitor. We can see that they're very long, exactly 7 seconds. So let's make them shorter so we can animate this film. First we select all the images then go to Edit, then Duration. We can choose or type in 0.2 which is quite nice for animation which means 5 frames per second. If we watch the film now, things are much more animated. By copy pasting the same images we can make the film much longer. And this is a very simple way to make a longer animated film. Now let's add a title to our film. Go to Home and select Title. This opens a window very much like a word processor. You can change the font, the colour, the size. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. Change the location. It's all very easy. And now there's some effects we can use when we bring the title in. Let's choose this one for now. Now if we want to change the title which has now appeared here, we just have to double click it. Now let's add some music. We go to Home, Music, then choose a soundtrack that we like. It automatically puts it on top of all the images that we have as it's longer than the actual movie. If we go back to Music Tools, we can decide when it starts. I'm going to change it for this one because it's very quiet at the beginning. We can then choose when it stops and also the volume. Make it a little quieter. Here we go. Let's watch what we have. And there you go. You can see how easy it is to make your own movie. If you need more information, just come back to us at the Folk DC project.